Hi Gemini, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So I'm going to do uh, your week ahead reading. This is the 27th through to the 27th of May through to the 2nd of June. You've got a monthly reading up as well for June. So make sure guys you're turning on your notifications so you can get the readings coming through and that stuff. But if you want to check out your month ahead, it's sitting right next door to this and that'll be for June. Okay, for this weekly we are using... Four decks here, uh, we're using just to see what the general energy is for the week coming in, the Spellcaster's Tarot. Uh, we're also using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the body of the reading. This uh, Everyday Witches Tarot by Elizabeth Alba is simply to see any other energies coming in and this is your uh, spiritual guidance for the week. Okay, I'm not on camera this week guys because I am already on camera for the month ahead. So I always decide that if I'm going to do monthly, it's... You know, if I'm going to do monthly and weekly together, there's always one week where I have to do those together. I'll appear on one video, but not the other. This week, it's not the weekly I'm appearing on. It's the monthly. All right, let's put these to the side. Okay. Let's have a look. So, uh, what is it that Gemini needs to focus on universe between the 27th of May and the... Uh, and the um, and the second uh, of June. What is it that Gemini needs to focus on between the twenty seventh of May? I hope I've got those dates right for the for the um, for the weeklies because it seems like it's like over five days rather than six. I would have thought it would have been to the third of June. Let me just make sure that this is correct. Right, so we've got the 27th being Monday. First, second, yeah, I'm doing, and yeah, th that's right, it's the 27th, which is a Monday, up until the first is on a Saturday, second, yeah, that's right, second of May. Okay, uh, Universe Spirit, what is it that uh, Gemini needs to be focused on, focusing on between the 27th to the, uh, this looks so lopsided, this camera. I don't know what's going on with this bezel thing that I've got it on. It's annoying me. Sorry, it really is. I just don't like the way it looks on camera. Okay, Universe Spirit, what is it that Gemini needs to be focusing on between the 27th of May and the 2nd of June in one card? What is the energy for that week? Right, the Hierophant is what you need to focus on. Okay. Um, you know, the Hierophant is all about... Several things. I mean, the, the cards mean several things. The Hierophant can be about tradition. Rules, regulations is the Hierophant. It's about the church. It's about education. It's about health. When you get the Hierophant. But the Hierophant is more than anything. It's guidance. Um, and it's receiving guidance from somebody who has a deep uh, spiritual knowledge on the subject matter that you're asking about. Uh, you can see that there are two people here. It's interesting how they are. One's got a tail, I think, which is... Has he got a tail? I'm sure he's got a tail or something. It looks, looks like animals. They look like aliens, kind of. One's in green, one's in red. And then you've got this hero friend, this faceless being. All right, so he's all about the convention. There's, there's nothing personal here going on. He's got no face. So this is all about rules, regulations, and conventions. And also, what I find with the hero friend, which is interesting, is the word subservience. Um... I think in a way, when I look at this, remember tarot, as much as anything, uh, Gemini is about intuition. And what kind of strikes me about this card is the faceless here. Of him. He's got no face. He's got nothing. And he almost looks like he's got a whip in one hand. And he's got kind of like this box in the other. And then there's two people who are kind of bowing down to him, which suggests subservience. So I think you really need to focus on what is it that you worship? What is it you believe in? You know, does your belief have depth? Does your belief have... Uh, you know, any type of spiritual, because this doesn't have to, you know, your hierophant can be a family member, your hierophant can be an elder in your church, you know, this can be Catholicism, it can be anything, I don't want to get too religious about stuff, but what is your religion, I need, I think you need to focus on, well, what is it, because I think it kind of poses a question when I look at this card here, it reminds me of a, a question, because it's because he's got the face blanked out that it kind of poses a question to me, and it says, well, what is your, what is your ideology, what are your morals, you know, what is it that you worship, and I think you need to question that. What is What are your beliefs? I think it's a, a week for questioning what your beliefs are. 
because these two people are bowing down to somebody who doesn't even have a face. He's just on all this religious garb, but he's got a whip as if he's going to crack the whip. And he's got a box suggesting he's got secrets. So there's something that's not been unlocked here, something he's not opening up to. But he's representing something, but he's not showing what his true self is. And these two people are just kind of bowing and worshipping whatever this representation is. So what is it that you're worshipping? What is it that you're bowing down to, Gemini? What, are you, what is it that you're believing in? Does it have substance? Do you believe in something because of its appearance and how it appears to be? Or do you believe in something because it has depth? I think it's a week for kind of challenging you on your belief systems uh, this week. And I think it is challenging you just for the simple fact of the way that that hierophant looks to me. Let's have a look at what the past of the situation is. Um, these are about to, these other cards are about to slide at the desk. Ah, oh, come on. Some of these cards can be real slippy slippy. All right, we're gonna put this card to the side, like so. So we've got tight, uh, you know, uh, place at the top to do the card. So let's have a look. So, you know, we talk, we spoke about uh, Gemini, that I think that you need to focus on what your belief systems are with that here of it. He's got no face. In the past, the fall. So opportunities to do new things is the fall energy showing up here. And there was an opportunity for some of you guys to explore something new with the full energy showing here but he's got his back turned to something the three ace of cups energy in the past didn't want love now when you get the full outside of the ace of cups this is usually like a the ace of cups is love all right that can be a relationship but the full outside of it he's not exploring the ace of cups He's kind of outside of the Ace of Cups. So whenever I've seen a fall outside of the Ace of Cups, this is somebody who wouldn't commit themselves to love. And I think in the past maybe you had somebody who wouldn't commit themselves, possibly to a relationship, to opening themselves up with the Ace of Cups energy showing here. Okay. Um, yeah, Three of Swords. And I think that it left you heartbroken, Gemini. I think Three of Swords is Libra energy, though, but this is heartbroken. I think somebody walked out of a new... I mean, I think for some of you guys, it might have been a fairly new relationship as well. Because the Ace of Cups can be kind of a relationship that lasts about five, six weeks, three months at the most, with the Ace of Cups being a relationship card. But also, somebody wasn't interested. They weren't committed. Can you see that whenever the fool's turning its back on a card, it's showing there's a lack of commitment. So there was somebody around you. This isn't you. This is someone around you who wasn't committed to love. The fool is ruled by Uranus, planet of freedom. You know, the maverick, the individual. So this person really wasn't in line to have a committed relationship. They just weren't there. And I think it left you as the Three of Swords really heartbroken in the past, uh, Gemini. Okay, now your thought process going into this uh, situation in the week will be uh, the Two of Wands. So your thought process being the Two of Wands energy is that I think that you are spiritually conflicted with this card. Wands represent the spirit all right. I also feel that your intuition is split as well because two of wands represents a split, you know, and wands represent the spirit and intuition. So your intuition isn't only split, but split, but also your spirit is split with the two of wands. And the next two cards will tell us what that split is. Uh, in a way, faced with a decision. Uh, the Queen of Cups energy, maybe to open up your heart to this individual with the Queen of Cups, because Queen of Cups is all about opening up the heart. So your intuition is saying, I could either open up my heart with the Queen of Cups energy showing here, uh, or I could block them, Five of Wands energy. Because usually when you get the Two of Wands, what I tend to do is pull two, obviously you get two cards here anyway, but often I find that two cards are going to tell you which roads, which options are being presented. It's like the Two of Swords in a way, but you are kind of, your spirit's split, your intuition is split with the Two of Wands. As to whether you should really open your heart up to this individual, talk to them about how you're feeling, or whether with the Five of Wands you should just block them. What is the universe telling you to do, Gemini? What is the advice you have for Gemini going forward on this? So firstly, this card wants to come out. Uh, the Ten of Cups. I think that you need to just complete this stage. And you need to be thankful for it in a way, because the Ten of Cups tend to represent completion. So with the Ten of Cups, it's about finalising, completing a stage in your life, but completing it on a good term, on a happy term. Because all tens are completion. But I, you know, I just think it's ridiculous to say that because it's number 10, you just go to the word completion. How is it being completed? This is it. We have suits for a reason. So if the cups are all about, you know, 
feelings and this is a card about contentment and satisfaction you're completing something in a very satisfactory way and i think the universe is telling you to end this stage but end it in the knowledge that you know you had a good time probably while it lasted end it in a really good way where you're satisfied look to the future now three of wands and start looking ahead with the three of wands energy it's time to end this situation on a happy note with the ten of cups uh Gemini and look to the future with the three of wands energy okay four of cups but be more selective in future okay we'll quickly get this reading again you need to focus on what is it that you're paying homage to because you're paying homage to probably a lie or you know the, the hero thing is faceless remember and these two people are like my liege my liege but all because he's dressed up in finery and because he calls himself a priest and that's, you know, and that's, this isn't about religion, but it's about your religion, uh, Gemini. What is it that you like? What is it that you, you give yourself to? What do you give yourself to? What do you, what do you, you know, did you like this person because they were good in bed? Did you like them because they were good looking? Did you like them because of their voice? Did you like them because they had long legs or they had really good muscles? What is it? Because that's what the Hierophant is saying. These people are paying homage to this Hierophant because of his status because of what he represents but he's got no face he's got no fucking face he doesn't smile we can't see where he looks does he have any debt probably not because he's just dressed up in garb and doing his role so think about what it is you pay homage to and what it is that you are giving your subservience to in a way what is it that you're saying I, i'm still you know subservient liege to you that type of, you know what is it what is it what is it? Because this person, this Hierophant, is your fool. This is the person that turned the back on the relationship in the past and left you heartbroken. This is the person who was, you know, the, the thief, you know. He, he, actually, I, for some reason, I am drawn to call this the Seven of Swords. <laughs> he just looks like the Seven of Swords. And the Seven of Swords sneaks away. You know, this is, the, this is the person who doesn't want to be attached to anything. He's a lone ranger and he likes to do things on his own. You know. And it's the same with the fall. Uranus, freedom. Turned his back on love and left your heart broken, yeah? Your thoughts are, well, you're split. Intuitively, you're kind of, your mind is saying to you one thing, but then it's saying another. So in one part, you're saying, you know, intuitively, I'm split, spiritually, I'm split. Should I open myself up to this person, Queen of Cups energy, and tell them how I truly, truly feel about them? But then should I just five of wands energy block them out? Well, the universe is saying block them out because you need to end this on a very positive note, the ten of cups, and start looking ahead to the future, three of wands, all right? And in future, with the four of cups energy, learn from this experience because the four of cups is learning from the experience. The cup being handed to him, he's... Yeah, he does look downcast, but one of the things with the Four of Cups when it comes to a love reading, and this is a love reading, is what it does is it says, I'm very selective. I do have people who are interested in me, but I'm kind of like going to be a little bit more vigilant in future. So end this on a happy note. Look to the future, Gemini. But if others are approaching you in the future, just learn from this experience and be selective. All right, just because somebody represents something, it it means nothing it's what goes on the inside not what the outside is saying okay that's that reading for the wheel let's have a quick look at any other energies um coming in gemini uh universe spirit give me five cards any show me any other energies showing up for gemini between the 27th of may and the 2nd of june 2019 so the first card shows up as the empress lovely okay so the Empress is all about fertility, abundance, growth, prosperity. Can also be a female, obviously, pregnant female sometimes. Uh, four of Swords energy, um, relaxation, healing, okay. Uh, if you notice her stomach, she's holding on to her stomach here. I think if any of you, especially you females, if you've been having problems with periods, which is what this can be, it's womb stuff. So if you've been having problems with your periods or the menopause or anything like that, you should find this week you're getting some respite or healing with this. I'm getting the impression that, I don't do much health, but I get the impression just looking at these two cards, it looks like health. 
Some of you guys giving birth if you're pregnant. This is the pregnancy she's ready to give birth. It looks like the baby's out with this, okay? Some of you guys are relaxing. Empresses, look at she's in nature here and she's relaxing here. So some of you guys are literally taking a little bit of time out. Maybe there's a holiday here going on, that type of thing. Getting you guys being in nature and relaxing with the four of swords. Getting some this is a like a meditation type thing as well. So out in nature, I'm seeing for some of you Geminis and doing like a healing retreat or some meditation or something like that. Okay. Um and also, what I'm getting is if you've had any problems with periods, that type of thing, your menopause, there should be some respite this week with the Four of Swords energy showing here. Um, this is heal healing after illness. So if she's holding, sometimes when you get the Empress holding her stomach, it's something literally to do with the womb and just not feeling very well with that. Uh, what's the next card showing here? But then you've got that good old fucking Four of Cups again. What the hell? Um, Four of Cups is... Um, a lack of contentment on this card, not happy with what you have. Some of you guys, there are options available to you, but you're not 100% certain about the options that you want to take, Four of Swords. But we've got Fours here. Fours mean that stability within Tarot, starting to build security and stability. Uh, that shows up. You've got three Fours, but one is reversed. Okay. Um, you know, you could start building stability here. Because it's being offered with the fourth cup. Um, and some of you guys are contemplating an offer. But four of wands in the reverse. I think that you guys aren't 100% happy to take that. So uh, several things here I'm looking at. I think that for some of you guys, pregnancy, birth. I'm getting this week with these cards. Uh, also, Empress Energy. If there's any problems, especially, well, obviously just for you females, uh, any womb problems, you know, period problems, menopause problems, healing, four of swords, energy showing up here. Um, uh, I'm getting a cesarean for some of you guys as well. If you're pregnant, you know someone that's pregnant, maybe that's a Gemini. I'm getting cesarean birth with these cards here. Um, what I'm also getting is a health retreat. The uh, Empress is all to do with the outdoors and gardens and healthy places and this is a retreat for a sword so i'm getting some of you guys going away on a health retreat or meditation or that type of thing so you guys contemplating for a sword whether you should take an offer or not here but four of wands in the reverse says to me that you're not happy to take it, it might not go ahead there's no celebration with that card let's have a look uh king of wands shows up here uh, not happy to go for it. King of Wands is to go for it. Okay. Some of you guys I am seeing um, contemplation of some form of an offer here. You're contemplating the offer and you're just not certain of it. Four of Wands is not happy. And King of Wands is to go for it. Not happy to go for an offer. There's an offer coming to you but some of you guys won't be happy to do that. Also maybe some marital problems or relationship problems. It could be a lack of contentment showing up here. Uh, also, it might be sex as well for some of you guys. Uh, Empress represents sex. It's the sensual card of sex. Nothing much happening in the bedroom, though, when it comes to sex. Some of you guys, or there could be a partner around you who's not happy about this, with what you're giving. You're either not happy with, a part with what a partner's giving sexually, or they're not happy with what you're giving sexually. That might be causing marital problems or relationship problems, four of wands in the reverse with the King of Wands energy uh, showing up here, okay? So I'm getting problems with sex as well, potentially showing up for some of you guys and a partner. Uh, let's have a look at uh, the other energies. What other energies can you see coming in for Gemini? Uh, page of Swords. So Page of Swords can be emails. Page of Swords can be education. Can be arguments. We don't want to go down that line too much of the fucking arguments. Oh, God. Uh, Ace of Swords. Some truths are coming out here. Some truths. Because the page of one stands up for what he believes in. When you get this person, they're communicating in a really honest way, even if there's swearing going on. And the Ace of Swords is a truth. Okay, so this is a realisation. It's somebody who's opening up, they're telling you the truth. A lot of truth coming out. Page of Swords and that Ace of Swords showing up here. Um, justice, I think this is good, I think this is really good, it's going to bring justice, it's going to finally clear the air with the justice energy showing up here, 
uh, Ace of Swords and Justice as well. There's something to do with a contract here that needs signing. The Ace of Swords can be the pen. You might be receiving an email uh, notification page of swords as well. Might be something to do with a contract, something legal that needs signing. This is the pen and that can be something legal. So this might be a legal contract, especially if you get it with the Two of Cups showing up or something like that. Uh, now we've got the uh, Six of Pentacles though. Uh, finances. Something about getting money. Uh, six of Coins. It looks like some of you guys, you need to sign something here. It's about getting money. Six of Coins energy is receiving a check or receiving money. Uh, so you could be receiving some information here as well. Uh, Ace of Swords uh, is the pen, so it's the written word. You might be receiving some information that you need to sign a contract. Could be a legally binding thing. Maybe this is to get some cash through. Something legal here. Swords represent legalities as well. Um, six of Wands, victory. You've got two sixes, so sixes represent harmony. So harmony being restored here as well. Uh, I believe some of you guys are going to get through some information, a letter, page of source. Page of source can be a letter. But swords represent communication. So this is a letter or this is electronic communication. This is a letter. You need to sign it, I think, with the Ace of Swords showing here. Uh, justice, legal. Okay, so this is to complete a legal process. So I think there's a letter coming through. You need to sign it, complete a legal process uh, before you can uh, receive some money. Six of Wands energy. Uh, sorry, Six of Coins receiving some cash here. Six of Wands, finally, it's victory success in this situation. So this is a good week for getting money. Let's go through this reading again. Um, the other cards coming in, Gemini, are... Let's have a look. We'll read them in different ways. Uh, the Empress. Okay, so Empress and the Four of Swords. This looks like, perhaps for some of you guys, this is a Caesarean birth. Uh, the Empress and the... Um, uh, Empress also uh, represents to be in nature. Four of Swords is a retreat. So some of you guys are going on a nature retreat, that type of thing. Um, some of you guys um, showing up here. It, I mean, the Empress can be a person as well. But also I think that if there's any health issues going on, especially with menopausal periods, healing uh, Four of Swords energy showing up here as well might also be something to do with having to go into hospital for some form of menopausal thing or period thing as well, potentially. But I'm seeing healing, healing and respite here, uh, some form of period problems, that type of thing. Uh, also, some of you guys um, contemplating an offer, that uh, Four of Swords energy, the offer Four of Cups energy. You're not sure about that anyway, but not happy Four of Wands in the reverse to take action on that King of Wands. Some of you guys... Uh, this is a sex card as well. So sexual relations not happening for a source energy in the bedroom. And it might be you or a partner is not happy with what they're receiving in the relationship. Therefore, there's kind of like a lack of stability in the home with a partner, this King of Wands. So there might be some issues to do with sexual things coming up this week. Uh, also, uh, somebody telling you the truth. If it's anything to do with sex, then your partner might be doing that. Okay, they're telling you or you're telling them the truth about how you feel, but it's going to clear the air, which is nice. Okay, and it's going to bring harmony and balance back to the relationship. You've got two sixes, six of one, six of pentacles. Uh, that's harmony. Uh, also, though, uh, information, communication, a letter coming through could be electronic, electronically. You might need to be signing something of a, a legal document energy if you want to get some money through showing here. Success and victory by the end of the week. Really nice energy is actually not bad. Uh, let's quickly just see what the uh, universe is telling you. Finally, uh, Gemini, about uh, your spiritual guidance. What spiritual guidance do you have for... Oh, three cards. How many cards? Whoa, you got four cards that came up. So firstly, spiritual guidance, the divine director, intervention and purpose. Divine intervention is occurring. Know that you are being guided. Happiness is your purpose. Nice. Then we have harmony and benevolence faith. Okay. It says, stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, see the light in the world. The next piece of spiritual guidance, Gemini, we have is Saint Germain. Karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Create your own path and make room for good energy. Lovely. And finally, we've got White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit. Connect to your lineage, a family wound or pattern can be healed now. So a lot of healing showing up here. 
Okay, karmic situations can be concluded here. All right, really nice, just just lovely healing energies, and some of that we're getting with that four of swords energy as well. A lot of healing coming in. Nice energy, guys. All right, that's your week ahead reading. Uh, if you'd like to see a monthly, just hop on next door. It's sitting right there for you, okay? And thanks for your time, Gemini. Have a great week, my darlings. Take care. Bye-bye.